Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Why does it look like I'm about to sing? <laughs> I was um, recording for almost, I would say, 45 minutes. I was cleaning. I was mopping. I was dancing. I was just living my life recording so I can do a little time lapse uh, for you guys. I was literally just talking to you for like 30 minutes straight. I was... I was doing a lot. I had um really good footage. Really good footage at that. Showed you guys what I was going to cook tonight. Told you guys my plans for the day. You know, everything that you could like think of. I was telling you guys a lot of important things, a lot of secrets. And um at the end, I don't know what just kind of like made me just review the footage. She's like, you know what? Let me play it back. I never play back like my videos. I just kind of just record. And then when I'm done, I just like upload them to my computer so that I can edit. Something told me to kind of just play back um, what I was just recording. And um, my mic was off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My mic was off the whole time I was recording. Can you guys believe that? That's crazy to me. This is the life of a vlogger, the life of a YouTuber. Shit like this happens and you just kind of want to cry. You just kind of want to break down and oh my God. I hate life sometimes, honestly. Oh my God. We're just gonna... Okay, first of all, I'm never doing that again. When things like this happen, um, I just get so unmotivated because I just feel like this is just a complete fail for today. But I'm just going to catch you guys up on what I was initially telling you guys earlier um, before I noticed that my mic was off. I don't know if you guys can tell or if you have noticed, but I got me my new vlogging camera. Yay! I got me my new Canon M50 vlogging camera that I have wanted for a very long time now. I've wanted this camera for some time. I just wanted to upgrade from my Canon G7X Mark II. I still have it. However, I still have to take it so that I can go fix it because it's legit like just coming apart. I told you guys a long time ago that like my little screws are coming apart and like my camera is just falling apart like period. What I'm going to do with that one, I'm just going to keep it as a backup just to kind of practice my photography and just take a lot more photos the photo quality on the canon g7x is actually really really good and the good thing about that little camera is that one it is very portable you can like just stick it in your bag and like you can have it like anywhere and the thing i like about the camera as well is that it has wi-fi and um and has that like little Bluetooth that connects directly to your phone that way you can just upload the photos to your phone like automatically in like a second and you can just like edit them and like upload them in every single social media platform that you want but you know all that good stuff the camera still works it's still amazing I love it that's like my baby um so I just didn't want to get rid of that one I mean but now it's time to talk about my new baby of course so she is um pretty cute uh she's very cute she's definitely bigger than my camera and in a G7X, so it's a lot bigger than that one. It kind of reminds me of the Sony A5000, the one that I used to have, or like the Sony a6000 like those new ones that just came out so it is a lot smaller than my dslr than my canon t6i but it is bigger than my canon g7x if that kind of makes sense i think that she has a lot of potential i'm still playing around with it um hence the mic because i did get a mic with it that is the downside of it i just don't know how to work it yet that i was filming for literally an hour and my sound was off the whole time so i'm extremely upset about that but i mean you know it's trial and error so i just have to learn how to work this little thing i did end up getting rid of my canon t6i so i did have to sell it i figured that will be a better way to kind of invest in a new camera i really didn't use a canon t6i uh, very much i first got that camera that was actually the first camera guys that i bought with my little hard work um earned money i got that camera on my own i still remember like it was yesterday me struggling to get that camera but i managed to get it and i'm just so proud of myself like it makes me so proud and like low-key i am a little bit sad and depressed that i did get rid of that camera but i just wanted to give it a new home you know she needed to go to a new home where she was going to be loved and she was going to be used and so that kind of just doesn't sound right but 
You guys know what I mean. I just wanted someone to kind of get the best use out of it because it's an amazing camera. And I just didn't want to have it like on my shelf, just like collecting dust and stuff. I just thought that was not fair. I still have to learn the pros and cons and the in and outs of this camera for me to give you guys the best quality. So right now, this vlog, it's probably not going to be the best because, you know, I really just didn't play around with the settings a lot. I just kind of turned it on and just press record. Um, and because of that, I had no sound in the beginning, but whatever. But let me show you guys why I was cleaning in the first place. When I was cleaning, cause with getting a new camera, you do end up getting a lot of products. So I had like just like wires and batteries and like straps and had like a tons of things. And I kind of just wanted to organize it because I do organize all of my camera gear and like my like you know like miscellaneous thingies. Um, so I want to show you guys how I did that. I still have to like clean my house. <laughs> so what I did was kind of organize these little drawers that I have in my bedroom. I have these little basket drawers, I guess you can say. In this first drawer here, I have all of my camera gear. So like I did get rid of a lot of stuff because I just had like old stuff just laying around that I really didn't need. I just have like little tripods. I have like lenses. I have this lens here that was from a Canon T6i. This lens is actually amazing. I forgot the name of it. I'm actually thinking of selling this one because this lens right here, guys, was the one that got my beauty videos to look hella lit this lens is amazing then i have other lenses that i you know just kept from all of my other cameras i have some wall cords believe it or not i don't know if you guys can see but all of these wall cords i have bought throughout the years for like uh, my camera batteries to kind of charge them in the wall instead of like those little battery box thingies but anyway I just kind of organized all of my camera gear here. And then in the second drawer right here, I have all of my phone stuff. Literally like just random iPhone cases and just like iPhone gear and stuff like that. Just like phone stuff. And then in the last one, I just have like random stuff. I have like Canon batteries. I have like these light bulbs here. And then I have like more gear down there. I don't know, I'm just all over the place, but I was organizing this. Um, because it was just like a big mess. And then getting a new camera, you wanna make sure everything is organized, so that's exactly what I was doing. And there's Penny right there. <laughs> Why are you hiding? You wanna come say hi to Mama's Beauty Babes? Let me see if I can zoom into her. Mama is, why are you hiding? What you doing over there? <laughs> you wanna say hi to Mommy's Beauty Babes? Say, you want to say hi? Oh, you said hi to mommy's beauty babes again. This damn tripod has been sitting in my living room ever since I filmed my sit on video. So I need to get rid of it. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Mini tripod. So I'm here doing laundry that has been in this basket for literally almost three weeks, no lie. Look at this little girl right here. She loves laying next to my clothes. Does anybody else's dog do this? Like every time I do laundry, I don't know if it's because it smells fresh, it smells clean, she's all up on my laundry. Look at her. I'm just doing laundry, trying to get everything together, and all of this stuff is all of my hoodies, my winter stuff, which I no longer use. And I did kind of arrange my closet a little bit better. You guys know that I have the smallest closet in America, but I tried to kind of arrange it, you know? I try to make it work somehow. I still have a lot more clothes in my coat closet and also in my laundry room, so clothes, I just, I have a lot. Like, I just cannot. All of these drawers right here are all filled with clothes like it's it's insane how much clothes i have and then i still have more here it's just a never-ending process we're at walmart <laughs> ratchet setting we're just gonna get what we need to get because i just don't feel too comfortable being at this walmart for some reason but i already know wait is that ashley i thought i saw my girl ashley at this walmart so i kind of already know what i want to buy I need some carpet cleaner, like the little powder that you put on your rug and carpet. And then I also need some Fabuloso. 
to make my place smell really good and i also need some cleaning supplies i did tell you guys that i am planning on cleaning tonight i already did all my laundry so i folded my laundry i showed you guys that so now it's time to clean so i'm gonna buy some supplies i actually was planning to go to the 99 cent store but they actually closed at 10 and it is like midnight right now yay so we found the fabuloso my favorite part i love using fabuloso i don't know why it motivates me to clean sorry i'm vlogging <laughs> don't think i'm crazy talking to myself <laughs> i think this one's new I don't want to smell it. Oh, it kind of smells. It smells good. What is this? Spring in blue. Or maybe even this one. Oh, sorry. I was blocking. It came out in my camera. How awkward I know. This is tropical spring. Oh, they even have a passion fruit. Oh my god, smell this. It smells so good. He's like, hold me. I think I'm gonna get the pink one. It smells really good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like literally bothering everybody in here. These are my favorites. We're gonna take some of these. This one's bigger. I'm just gonna take this one. Oh, the section that I don't need to be in, but I'm in right now. Oh, what should we get? We're gonna get this big old bag. And with some ranch, of course, because you have to eat these with ranch. Let's not forget the ranch. Oh, these sour cream right here. I love these. I don't like plain ones. Plain ones are disgusting. Those are like. This is the combo to go with. If you kind of just have the munchies and you just want like a very unhealthy dinner, this is it. Hot and spicy with some hot puffs, some ruffles, and some ranch. This is literally the goat. So unhealthy, guys, but I love it. Tell me why I'm like a true Latina right now. I am boiling fabuloso right now on my stove. <laughs> This is actually my first time trying this little hack here. Everybody talks about it like in every Hispanic household. This is what they do. But I really have never tried it because I am low-key scared. So here I am boiling up some Fabuloso after I just cleaned my entire apartment. And today is a new day. So welcome to another day in the vlog. So last night I got home, ate what I showed you guys I was eating. And let me tell you, even though it was so unhealthy, it was the best, best little late night snack that I have had in a while. I don't eat that every day. So please don't come for me because I don't eat that every day. I just have it like whenever I'm really like craving some munchies. Mind you, I am close to that time of the month. So you know you'd be craving stuff so yeah last night after i had that i was in no way shape or form ready to clean i was supposed to clean up my bathroom and like clean my kitchen and stuff but i just really didn't feel like it i got tired after having that late night snack and then i was watching like some movie and i just knocked out because yo girl was tired i did wake up super early today cleaned my entire apartment and cleaned my bathroom like i was supposed to do yesterday and yeah, just cleaned, folded laundry, did a lot more things. The only thing that I need now is my vanity. And I am leaving my makeup vanity for last because I feel like I'm just going to declutter everything. I wanted to cook like some bomb uh, breakfast, but I just cleaned my kitchen and I'm not about to like dirty it again. So we're just gonna have some noodles. These are the noodles, teriyaki sauce and some little bit of like spice. So let's see. How these taste. Mm. They're so good. Oh my God. So good. Oh my God. So good. Those spices that I added just made it so much better i added like chili powder i added some alobo i added like a lot more stuff to it 
Mm. Oh my God, so, so good. I'm making it a point um, throughout the day for me to finish a whole gallon of water. So that's what I'm doing. And we got the noodles here. So cheers. If you guys don't have noodles, then go make you some so we can eat together. But cheers. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like I shouldn't be eating it this fast, but it's just so good. Oh my God. Mm. How gorgeous are you? <laughs> you want to say hi to mommy's beauty babes? Say hi, mamas. Say hi. Oh, wow. So tell me why I've been sitting here, guys, literally taking photos of Penny. I've been having like a little mini photo shoot with her my baby you're doing so good so good say bye mamas okay so i guess you just don't want to say bye anymore you shy okay see you guys later